So the last day of Black History Month. So to celebrate, Springfield Technical Community College hosted a special guest, the daughter of the late activist Malcolm X. Western Mass News reporter Reagan Lokri shares her message. A sea of applause could be heard inside the gymnasium at Springfield Technical Community College Thursday afternoon as community members, students, faculty and staff welcome Dr. Ilyasa Shabazz, the daughter of the late human rights activist Malcolm X and Dr. Betty Shabazz. On February 21st, 1965, my mother, sisters and I witnessed the political assassination of her husband, our father, Malcolm X. My pregnant mother placed her entire body over my three sisters and me to protect us from gunfire and to make sure we would not see the terror before our eyes. Thursday's event wrapped up Black History Month and Sticks Diversity Speaker Series on campus. And in her address, Dr. Ilyasa Shabazz highlighted the importance of uplifting the hopes and dreams of the next generation to avoid creating what she calls a self-fulfilling prophecy. When young people are at a crossroads with questions and uncertainties, pained with self-doubt, they need educators who are willing to guide them to nurture and protect their way back home with accurate, truthful, and encouraging information. Not only is Dr. Shabazz the daughter of two iconic and prominent civil rights activists, she is also an accomplished educator, author, and activist herself. And on Thursday, Shabazz shared her insights rooted in the rich legacy of African-American history and culture. During her speech, Dr. Shabazz explained to the crowd that continuing the legacy of her parents inspires and allows her to empower voices and continue to work to make the world a better place despite what may seem like a bleak future. We face many challenges ranging from racism and xenophobia to marginalization and ideologies that question the very idea of what it means to be a human. We witness corporate greed, the widening gap between the rich and poor, forced migration and the global refugee crisis and the destructive potential of modern technologies and artificial intelligence. Quoting her father, Malcolm X, Shabazz says, there is no better teacher than adversity. We can't keep repeating the same mistakes. Today, the struggles the world faces may have new names, but as Dr. Shabazz explains, at the core, they are the same as what her parents fought so hard against during the civil rights movement. And the way to get past them is through hope and courage. In times of darkness, we are not only called to find the light, we are also called to be the light for others. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Regan Lokri. A Rhode Island